What's up guys and welcome back to the Station Bakery. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these delicious dunkable cookies with the silkiest, smoothest, most delicious buttercream frosting ever. If this is something that you would like to make, then keep watching. And while you're watching, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. All right guys, let's get into it. We're gonna start by creating our dough. I already have my dough made here, so you can use whatever cookie recipe that you would like. Here I am mixing in the Americolor Electric Pink, and I am using a spoon to help me just get that color to stick to the frosting, stick to the cookie, and then I will use my hand to continue to knead that color in until there are no streaks and the color is solid. I have also already done my other colors, blue and purple. If you're new to making cookies, I will leave a simple recipe in the description below. Now that our dough is nicely colored, I am now going to place it between two pieces of parchment paper and use a marble rolling pin to roll out my dough. Once my dough is nice and smooth and even, I will then use this small circle cookie cutter to cut out my dunkable cookies. You can really make these in any shape and size that you want, but I just found it simple, easy, quick, and to the point to make them circular. I will then use my bench scraper to transfer them over onto my baking pan that is already covered with a sheet of parchment paper. I will repeat this process which each, which, <laughs> with each of my colors. I also have another rolling pin that has guides. So if you are someone who is unable to get your dough at an even level for your cookies, then that rolling pin will be a great option for you. I will have it linked in the description below if you would like to check it out. Now that we have all of our circular cookies done and put on our tray, I am now going to try another design of cookie. Shout out to Grandma B's Mini Treats. I will link her Instagram account down below, but this idea came from her. She had these cute rainbow cookies. So here I am going to recreate it in my own style. Once all of my cookies are cut out, I will then put them all on the cookie sheet and cook them in the oven. While they're cooking, I will go ahead and start on my silky smooth frosting. Now this frosting is called a cooked flour or ermine frosting. If you tried it before, let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. All right guys, so here you'll see that I messed up this first batch. I cooked it too high, too fast, and I thought adding this vanilla was gonna save it. It didn't. However, I retried it and I got it right this time. I will link the recipe that I used down below in the description. A few notes to make when making this buttercream so that you don't make the same mistake that I did is to cook it low and slow. 
Continue whisking the entire time. Do not walk away. Do not turn your eye because that is when it's going to thicken up and burn. I whisked this mixture until it became kind of like a thick puddingy texture as you see here. Once it did that, then I took it off of the heat and transferred it over into a bowl. After that, I then poured in my vanilla. You can use any flavoring that you would like, but I used vanilla for this. And then I just whisked that together, placed a piece of saran wrap over it to keep it from forming a skin, and then chilled it in the refrigerator to bring it down to a cool temperature. For the next part of this process, I am going to whip up my room temperature butter and sugar. Now when you're doing this, you may be like me and think that this is just wrong, something's not right. I really thought that maybe I was supposed to use powdered sugar instead, just like most buttercreams, but no, you want to whip up regular granulated sugar. Once you get it nice and fluffy, you want to start adding in your cooled mixture bit by bit and let it whip up until it's nice and fluffy, almost resembling the look of whipped cream. Once your buttercream has whipped up, remove it from your mixer and then it's ready to use. It's nice and silky smooth. It's not too sweet and it's just really a beautiful, beautiful buttercream. Now we have our cookies and our frosting all ready to go. Look at how cute these dunkable cookies came out. Look at that color, how strong it is. And guys, these cookies were perfect. They weren't too sweet and it really paired well with that ermine cooked flour buttercream. So now we're just going to put these out on a plate, make it look all cute and whatnot. <laughs> And then I'll show you guys how this buttercream pipes and of course how to eat these two delicious delicacies together. <laughs> you can really see just how smooth and stable this buttercream is. Look how beautiful this combination is and watch how silky smooth this frosting is. Guys, if you're looking to sell these, keep watching to the end of this video for an idea on how to package these. I thank y'all for coming and supporting me. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you know when I post my next videos. Alright guys, as always, until next time, peace. Hey friends, if you're still watching, go ahead and check out these videos next.